I encourage you to look at a challenge on your farm and see how strip-till can potentially solve or work with the challenge. For example, if you have rocks in your area, I've seen farmers use coulter setups with strip-till that typically roll up and over the rocks rather than bringing them to the surface like a shank and knife sometimes do. This year, expensive fertilizer is a challenge for all of us. Strip-till allows you to get the most out of your fertilizer by banding it and blending it right in the seed bed, as well as giving you the ability to apply variable rates based on each field's soil samples and resulting prescription map. We chose a Soil Warrior machine with a dual-bin, 10-ton dry fertilizer capacity to accomplish this on our farm. Another challenge we all fight is soil erosion. Strip-till only disturbs roughly 30% of the field, leaving the remaining 70% untouched and helping protect it from erosion due to wind and heavy rain. If manpower is limited on your farm, strip-till may be helpful for you. On our farm, we create strips in the fall, then come back in the spring with no freshening and plant directly into an ideal seed bed. This equates to less time in the tractor, reduced fuel usage, and the ability to get the planter in the field sooner. If you're considering strip-till for your farm, run the math on the efficiency you'll create by doing a seedbed prep, fertility, and tillage pass all in one shot. And don't forget about those secondary advantages like reduced erosion and increased soil health. There are an infinite number of ways to set up a rig based on your soils and your specific needs. 